Hi five sixes, welcome to week three in the art room. Today we are looking at making a three dimensional um, animal face out of cardboard. Now I'm really hoping that you will be able to find something cardboard at home that you can use for this task. Um, some of the suggestions I have are old cereal boxes, which I had one, but I've just cut up. Um, old tissue boxes, um, delivery boxes, shoe boxes. Try and find something at home that you can use to make this. If you don't have any cardboard and you can't find any anywhere, uh, maybe you could try cutting up newspaper or magazines or you could just use regular white paper and make sure that you really embellish the details and maybe think about a way that you could put some distance in between the sheets of paper to create that illusion of three-dimensional. So what we're going to do today is there's some examples on the lesson plan that you might have seen. I'm going to have a go at making the cardboard shape of this lion here. I'm not going to do all the painting of things because that will take the whole hour and you'll waste your art time watching me do art. Um, there's also some examples of other animals here. These look like masks, but don't make them as masks. Stick them down to something. Unless you desperately want a three-dimensional animal mask, then by all means you can. So what I'm going to start with is a couple of different pieces of cardboard. I've got the biggest piece that I could find as my base piece that I'm going to do all my gluing onto. Then I found another one. You can find another one. You can see that this is from a small box. I've just managed to cut cut it and um, flatten it out. Now I've looked at the picture. There's no guide as to what shapes to draw or anything. It is really your imagination. I worked off that line picture that I showed you, so I got a bit of a rough idea of the kind of shapes that I needed. So here is my face shape, the biggest part of my line. The rest of the pieces I already have cut out. Um, it is tricky to cut through cardboard. And some of this cardboard that's got the corrugated kind of effect through the middle, if you can peel back one layer of it for some of the parts of your lion, it's going to look really effective. I did it here for like the nose part. See how I've peeled off that bottom layer and you can see the real corrugated texture look. Um, that's one of our art elements that we're working on today too. Texture. Texture in our art is the way things look and feel. We're also working on space too, because that's where the three-dimensional element of this piece of art comes into it. Now, if you can try and cut the edges of your black texture off, that will look great. I was hoping to use the back, but there's a little sticky tape on that side, so that's not going to look great either. I'm just going to quickly rub out my grey lead lines. Now, when it comes to decorating your lion head or your animal head, whatever animal you choose, um, this picture's been painted, but you could use texture, crayon, pencils, um, collage. You could just leave it cardboard if you really wanted to. Um, there's lots of different options and they are all your personal choice or it depends on what equipment you have also okay now i'm going to glue down i've got a glue stick and i've also got a little bit of pba glue um i'm going to quickly either will work just you'll find with a glue stick you'll just have to um put some more pressure on it to help it dry but because it's only cardboard um your glue stick will work now, while I'm gluing down, I just want to have a bit of a chat about last week's work down the um, ant hole or the rabbit hole or the fox family's hole that I saw in one person's piece of art that was fantastic. Um, it's a little bit disappointing to see that not everybody is doing their work for me yet. If you've got some work that you've finished from last week and you haven't uploaded it yet, please do so. You can either upload it to 
the um, Google Classroom lesson in art or you can upload it to your student folder in the virtual classroom student share drive. Um, I'm going to use a glue stick for this just to show you that it does work fine. And there's a little bit of my mane that I'm gluing down. I'll hold it all up for you in a second. Actually, I'll hold that up for you now so you can see step by step. First step. Now, once this is all colourful, it's going to look heaps better. Now, these are from a tissue box. See the Kleenex on the back? I've just cut out two circles, and that's going to be the base part of my eye. I want to do some layering layering um, effects with my eyes just so they really stand out. So I've cut two circles out of the um, cardboard box as well, and I will pop them in the middle of my white tissue box circles. Great stuff. Okay, now the mouth kind of looks like sunglasses. It's that kind of shape, but it's actually a lion's. That's going to overlap slightly over the shape of its head. Then I had a nose. I've done the nose effect the same as the main, where I've peeled back the first layer of the cardboard just for a little bit more texture and effect. Okay, so. There's my face of my lion. Now what I've got to do is add the mane. Now this part is where you need to try and cut strips with all the cardboard, paper, whatever supplies that you could find. So if you can see here, I've got lots of different types of cardboard, different thicknesses, different colours. So now when I'm starting to layer it around my main, I'm just going to grab some more PBA glue. One tiny second. Back. Um, so then with these, if I can try and scatter the different types of cardboard around my mane, I think my texture and my effect is going to look great. Now you can leave a little gap as you're going around. If you do them too close together, you will run out of your cardboard strips so they match a little there I'm trying to make them match up a little bit that's not something that you have to do just kind of started that way Now, ideally, this is going to go all the way around your mane. Now, it'll be amazing how different this is going to look once we add some colour to it. I'll quickly show you where I'm at. So, there's my base. That's what the finished product will need to look like. Like I said... Texta, pencils, crayon, paint, fabric, chalk. The choices are endless. Just see what you've got at home. You don't have to do a lion. There's all the other options here. Um, can't wait to see what you come up with. Please have a go at this. I'm sure you'll be able to find cardboard somewhere. Like I said, an old shoe box. Check the cupboards. You never know your luck. Old cereal box if someone finishes. A pizza box as long as it's not too greasy. Maybe the lid. Um, have a big go. If you don't have some cardboard and you're not going to give it a go, please let me know just so I know um, where we're at with it all.
I will keep gluing around and I will paste a picture of my whole main complete on the lesson plan. Don't forget, uh, Google Classroom, shoot and drive or any problems, email me. Um, I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks guys. Bye.